Hello, fabulous Gemini. Welcome to your horoscope for the month of June 2020. Looking at life and love. I am your astrologer, Nadia Shaw. Thank you for being here. It is a phenomenal astrological month. There are huge things happening in the sky. I do think that when we look back at the year 2020, with all that is happening, has been happening, it will be the month of June that will likely stand out. It will be on June 5th that we will have a lunar eclipse. Now this is the first of a rare series of three eclipses, which means eclipse season is extended right into July. But at least for now, on the 5th, with a lunar eclipse in your opposite sign, a portal opens and the veil between the worlds becomes especially thin for that much longer. Now this lunar eclipse is intimately involved in what astrologers call a T-square. It is a larger configuration of tension and motivation. It is going to be this lunar eclipse standing across the sky from a retrograde Venus in your sign and both of these placements speaking with Mars that heightens the energy now. When we have important lunar activity in your opposite sign, it tends to bring another person into focus. In this case, there are likely powerful karmic closures or cleansings, new understandings and new chapters likely to take place characterized by a sense of what ends. For some of you, this may very well play out in professional realms, in business realms, and this gives you a chance to be honest with yourself about who you're aligned with and whether or not this partnership works, especially when you consider the larger goals, the career goals, the desire to align with life purpose that you have in your life. And this is going to be a very personal realization and that much more meaningful. Venus is after all retrograde in your sign. It's allowing you to contemplate more deeply whether or not you have a life you love and if another person fits into that or not. And so for some, this is gonna be a chance to be honest with yourselves about the role that you are playing within a certain dynamic and where you can change. But for others, this may bring with it closure and an ending and a whole lot of energy and emotion along with it. Now, as we navigate later into the month, right around the 21st is when we will have a solar eclipse. This solar eclipse is happening in a part of the sky for you that has to do with money that you earn, money that you spend, so finances are covered here, as well as self-esteem and self-worth. It is this solar eclipse that is happening at the summer solstice. So again, we have this idea of energy being especially high. Both Mars and the sun bring heat. They both act as a heightening uh, agent. And so is the case here for you now. There is a desire for a brand new start where it comes to your finances. There is a brand new perspective where it comes to what healthy self-esteem and healthy self-love mean for you. Just days before this solar eclipse, Mercury will go retrograde in this part of the sky. So you are contemplating that much more deeply how it is that you actually feel about yourself and how it is that you can go about aligning yourself with greater prosperity. Where it is that you're looking at what you did before or you're reaching back to the past for opportunities or to reawaken possibilities, you're working with the best that this Mercury retrograde season can be. Eclipses can be powerfully karmic as well, which means that new opportunities can seem to come out of nowhere. But with that Mercury retrograde, perhaps there are some key details there that are not as clear as they will be eventually. Or it's also possible that an opportunity that you thought was long gone comes back around. Where it comes to matters of love, it really is all about that lunar eclipse early in the month. It is a powerful reconfiguration in the context of partnerships of all kinds, including romantic partnerships as well. When we have such strong lunar energy in your opposite sign, someone is there to help you to know yourself more deeply than you did before. If it is that you are open to meeting someone new, you may very well attract somebody at this time. It looks like there's a lot of electricity at this time, that's for sure. However, I'm not seeing a whole lot of stability in this context, and that really is okay. 
This is a chance for you to see where you are in the context of love and why and how you really feel about it. For those of you who are just starting to date somebody, this is very all or nothing. That's what this looks like to me with a lunar eclipse. You are going to see some truth in this person and in yourself. And in this powerful moment, decide whether or not you are moving forward with them. Again, lunar eclipses are very powerful. People who are meant to go, they go. But people who are meant to stay, well, those connections can be made that much more important. And for those of you in an established bond, this is a chance to really put a chapter behind you. Now, for a very small percentage of you out there, it may be that this may be a time where if you've always known or you've known for a while that this is not the right relationship for you, that may come to the surface. But Venus is retrograde in your sign. So all is not necessarily as it seems on the surface where it comes to matters of heart. Ultimately, this energy can also invite you to look at your own part within a particular dynamic, and that may be part of the shift. You realizing where you can be different so that the two of you can love that much more deeply. What I love about this month for you, well look, there's so much here. I feel like I've barely scratched the surface. Days after that solar eclipse, well, Venus is gonna go direct in your sign. You're gonna understand love in every area of life that much more clearly and deeply in an instant. Also, before the month is over, Jupiter and Pluto will meet in a part of the sky for you that has to do with your relationship to financial institutions. And so, chances are this is gonna be a time when you are looking at securing funding. And if all of that wasn't enough, Mars moves into a friendship part of the sky for you where he's gonna spend an unusual seven months as opposed to the normal seven weeks. All of this is to say it is a huge astrological month. If I had to pick one thing, I would say that lunar eclipse helps you to get honest about yourself and your connection to another, and it helps you to see yourself differently. And that may end up being one of the greatest gifts of this time. Well, thank you so much for watching. You can get a video like this every week by logging on to NadiaShaw.com. Sign up to be one of my superstars. Superstars get expanded, exclusive video scopes each and every week, unlimited access to special horoscopes and more. All of this in the superstar space. I look forward to meeting you there. It'll be a great month. Enjoy.